Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about magnesium and vitamin D. How does it work? What does it do? And what kind of dosages should we take in order to enhance our vitamin D? Now, I've made videos on vitamin D before, as well as magnesium, so you want to go back and watch those videos. But today, we're going to talk about why we would use magnesium to enhance vitamin D uh, metabolism. So let's get right into it. Vitamin D and magnesium. Magnesium assists in the activation of vitamin D. It's involved in over 300 enzymatic processes in our body, right? Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral behind calcium, potassium, and sodium. Now, when you look at vitamin D, there is an inactive form called 25-hydroxy vitamin D, right? In order to convert the inactive form to the active form of 125-hydroxy vitamin D, you will need magnesium because it will enhance the enzymatic processes that occur to get it to the active form of vitamin D that can be utilized. Now, when you have increased levels of 125-hydroxy or active forms of um, vitamin D in our system, it will also increase the absorption of magnesium in the GI tract. So it has a, a multifold effect. They're synergistic, right? They help each other. Magnesium in food is declining by over 25 to 85% compared to the 1950s. What that means is that our soil is being depleted of its nutrients, right? It should be rich in minerals and so forth. However, it's being depleted over the years due to farming practices. The most important thing here is how much do we take, right? That's the main question that a lot of people want to uh, know. They want to know how much should we take. So vitamin D and magnesium. So recommendations. If you're not testing for vitamin D levels, you know, it's, you want to be on the lower end. If you're testing properly, you can take higher doses of vitamin D and have more of a profound effect. So my suggestion is always to test your levels of vitamin D. And it's best to do it on blood work. Now, if we're not testing, I would keep it under 5,000 IUs or international units. So you can take maintenance dosages of vitamin D, 2 to 5,000 units per day. You can take magnesium up to 2 to 400 milligrams per day. Now, I've used up to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium on patients. However, uh, magnesium can create loose stool, etc. So you want to go ahead and understand how magnesium works. Like I said, I have another video on that, so you want to watch that one. So that would be a general basic recommendation. Now, in order to enhance or uh, make sure that we're not um, creating problems with calcium and so forth, you can also take K1 or K2. K1 is from plant um, extracts, and then K2 is from animal products. Also, other fat-soluble vitamins should be taken to, into consideration, vitamin E and vitamin A. Now, other considerations for absorption of vitamin D. You should take it with a fatty meal because vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, so it enhances absorption uh, in the GI tract. You also have to make sure your gallbladder is functioning or if you had your gallbladder removed uh, because of gallstones, etc. You can supplement with ox bile or choline, um, and there are other things you can do like milk, thistle, and so forth to enhance your gallbladder. There's a separate video on gallbladder, so you go ahead and watch that one. And now vitamin D target levels. What is our target in our blood work when we take vitamin D? Now, the lab ranges can vary from company to company. So it can be anywhere from three, uh, 30 nanograms up to 100. I say our target should be between 60 and 80 nanograms per uh, milliliter. So when you check your blood work, go ahead and look to see if you're in this target range because it's, it's very important to get your levels to a, a, a good level in order to help viral replication and enhance healing after if you do catch uh, viruses, right? So it's very important to do that. My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.